What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS, bringing you yet another brand new video. Uh, we're going to be looking at an absolutely insane, overpowered, absolutely overpowered Town Hall 9 attack working on quite a few different, not every base, not every base layout, but quite a few different style of bases. Uh, just to give you guys a quick background of what this is, uh, this was a random matchup, FYSB, who took on Forbidden, the final 81 to 84, uh, Forbidden walking away with the victory. Again, this was a random matchup, but ironically, both of these clans, FYSB and Forbidden, both heading to the semifinals in CWO Premier. There were two attacks specifically that I wanted to show you guys um, to really highlight how insanely good this attack is. Uh, we have Moffs from, uh, from Forbidden, who's going to be demonstrating this attack for us, for you guys. And... Uh, I'm I'm just blown away at how honestly how strong this attack is, and again, it can work on a few different style of bases. Uh, what you're pretty much looking for is you need your kill squad to take down all four of the air defenses. Uh, you see, we do have, and I have done this attack a few times. I have featured it on the channel as well. Uh, where, where we use four golems, about 12, 12-ish, 12 14-ish wizards, and usually about eight balloons. Uh, we have Moffs, who's going to be doing it with three golems. Uh, so using one less golem uh, allows you to bring six more balloons, which is, abso again, absolutely overpowering. Uh, we have a heal, we have a rage, we have two jump. A uh, haste, uh, of course, that's for the loom portion, and we have a poison. Again, these bo both these attacks I'll be showing you guys are both fresh hits. So bringing that poison, you don't know what's going to be coming out of that clan castle. Uh, that's enough talking. We'll go ahead and hit play, uh, just so you guys can really see this attack unfold. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, you can see starting over here at the upper left-hand side of the base, dropping down both golems and just trying to set a nice funnel. Uh, you'll see once that queen takes out that double cannon that's doing some work on the golems, uh, she's going to be routing and you can already see the funnel getting created uh, for the bowlers. Jump leading right into the expo. And uh, we have that other golem, on the upper right hand side of the base you can see there's also uh he picks up a nice little tesla farm up there as well and each side getting about five wizards uh behind these golems nice rage right in the core uh, uh had a poison waiting for the cc and you see that second jump leading all the way leading all the troops literally to the other side of the base uh he goes ahead and drops down some balloons on that expo right there and look at this kill squad guys uh, still working. Check out the troop bar. We still got four wizards, 10 balloons, and we still have a haste left to deploy as well. Where are the rest of the defenses, guys? And again, not that this was a bad base. FYSB builds some incredible bases, but the fact of base identification and really this attack is also on patience. You never want to drop your balloons too early. You let that kill squad work. You let your heroes work, uh, let the bowlers work under all those spells. And again, two jumps leading from one side of the base to the other. Look at the swag on this one, guys. Uh, we're swagging Archer Queen ability, a haste, 10 balloons, <coughs> and two wizards as well. Just completely dominated. And again, what was more miraculous is the fact that this was a fresh hit, not knowing where any of the traps are. Uh, so that was Moffs, uh, Moffs, Maffs, uh, demonstrating that one. And we're going to have him demonstrate another attack again, using the exact same attack strategy. Go ahead and hit uh, replay and pause real quick. So you can see, uh, I mean, normally you wouldn't even th really think of this attack with the way these air defenses are laid out. But we're going to show you guys how, we're, I mean, we have a lot of good things, a lot of good things going on all at the same time. Uh, again, base identification. 
knowing what you can get away with with your troops, um, exposing weaknesses, and also funneling. Uh, we pretty much have all things rolled up into one here. Again, the troop bar didn't even change. Uh, but it is a different style base. Again, just to demonstrate how strong this attack is in the meta right now. For I mean, And remember, last attack, uh, Moff Swag, 10 balloons. So we have 14 balloons, 15 wizards, 3 golems. Bowler's going to be coming out of the CC. Uh, and again, heal, rage, 2 jump, haste, and a poison. Reminder, this is also a fresh hit. We'll go ahead and hit play. And same thing. So he's dropping down a golem, uh, queen, and a couple wizards behind. Notice this is absolutely crucial to this attack. That wizard getting down that gold storage, it's really going to set a nice funnel. So same thing going on over on the far right-hand side of the base in the 3 o'clock section. One golem. Look at all those wizards. We got about six wizards he drops down uh, to create that funnel and start trimming not only the trash, but some of these defenses. No wall breakers jumping right in. Here comes a full health golem heading straight into the base with the bowlers. Notice he dropped the bowlers first. King behind and being nice and patient. Notice he didn't rush to go ahead and drop down that rage spell. He's being nice and patient with everything here, uh, jumping everything in. <coughs> and notice he's on the only damage that his kill squad's taking right now is from that expo. So he's again showing patience, just laying the bowlers and the king beat through this wall, guys. Didn't even drop down the jump spell. Uh, amazing patience right there. And here we have uh, King on King action. Goes ahead and drops down the jump spell. Pops the Iron Fist ability. Uh, Queen getting perfect tanking from these golems. She's going to go ahead and take out the expo. Here comes the CC. Uh, we has a poison waiting for it. In the same poison, he also gets the enemy Archer Queen as well. And as I've been talking, the base is gone, guys, right? The base is completely gone. However... We still have 14 balloons to deploy. We still have three wizards. Again, we have a haste. We have archer queen ability. There is nothing left. Uh, and again, this being a fresh hit, you guys. Uh, so really, really demonstrating. Uh, and I know it's been referenced as the leg, uh, the, the Lego bull, no, the logo bull. And, but when I always saw it, that was always with four golems. Bringing these 14 balloons uh, really adds a lot of flexibility to the attack. That's still a lot of balloons, even though you don't have hounds. That's still a lot of balloons that can deal a lot of damage. In this example, this replay is ending in 15 seconds. Uh, nice haste right in the center of the base. And here comes the 14 loons. A little nice uh, balloon parade. Goes ahead and pops Archer Queen ability. And just like that, Moffs demonstrates an absolutely insane Town Hall 9 attack strategy in the current meta, you guys. Uh, fresh six-pack, uh, 10v10. Uh, definitely want to give a huge shout-out to him. Huge shout-out to the guys and girls over in FYSB and Forbidden. Congratulations to both of them for making it into Premiere when I was watching replays uh, and hanging out. Uh, you know, I was watching some of these attacks and I just had to get this out to you guys. Uh, definitely try it in FCs, uh, you know, looking for bases where you can pretty much get two jump spells to lead all your troops to all the air targeting defenses. And that also includes the air defenses as well. And showing a lot of patience, funneling those bowlers, and you will be wrecking these Town Hall 9s. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.